In this video, we will create a basic Blick example for the Arduino Mega board using the Microchip Studio 7. The generated hex file we will uh, write to the board using the Arduino bootloader. And on the computer side, we will use a program called AVR Dudes, which is a graphical user interface for the AVR Dude. So let's start with creating the project. Okay, so let's uh, start with uh, selecting new project. C executable. Select the device. So first of all, let's add the ASF to the project. And as usual, it takes quite a lot of time. Just to load in, I don't know. 7 or 10 add-ons yes you have to select the board and of course uh, there is no arduino mega board so let's uh, select uh, sdk 600 it will also work okay uh, so there's not really much you can add in here. Let's add the delay routines and also the GPIO. It will add uh, also IO port uh, just by the way. So you just have to add the GPIO. Okay, so first of all, we have to delete one main file. So let's delete the old one. And we will be using the ASF main. So first of all, add the clock configuration function. And let's take a look at the config of the clock. Uh, so we have to change the clock source. So let's add it. And we have to use the external uh, oscillator. So let's uh, Go to the services and the clock and the sysclick.h and at the bottom of the file we have to add, add this uh, definition. Let's define it here or we can also define it in the confort.h file. And we have to define the frequency of the external oscillator, which is 600, uh, I mean 16 uh, megahertz. Okay. So going back to the clock file, we see it's uh, returning the 16 mega value. Also forgot to add UL. Okay. So instead of uh, using the divide, we can use zero divide. So we will use the maximum frequ frequency just like so. OK. 
okay so now we can check if the project builds correctly and we see it does so now let's uh, by the way add the delay in it and now let's add the IO port So going uh, down to this file, the bottom, uh, we have an example of usage. Exactly this file. They are the same name, but in different places. Okay, so we will have to add our LED. Let's copy a definition of it right here. And the pin is PB7. And let's call it LED. Okay, now we have to add a few inlets. The first init of the IO port. and the init of the pin direction. Okay, so we will configure it as an output. Like in the example, and now let's add an uh, infinite while loop. So let's copy the set pin level function and let's put it right here. So let's uh, select the high value, the pin. Now let's add delay, milliseconds, like 100 milliseconds, okay. And now turning the pin off. So writing a zero to it, okay. So the example builds. So now it's uh, time to see if the board connects correctly. So we have to check uh, the programmer's uh, wiring for the Arduino Mega. I got the port selected. The bolt rate is uh, this value. So first of all, let's uh, try to detect the board. And it's detected. So now let's select the hex file of the application we just uh, built. Okay. It's an Intel hex. And for the writing, you have to select the force, disable verify, and disable flash raise. The bootloader handles the raising of the uh, flash in which the prog program is contained. So you don't have to do it yourself. Just only write the hex you have. So let's try to do this. So I'm holding the board right here and I'm clicking program. So it's programmed in zero time, absolutely. And it's working fine. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one.